Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, basically make this into a hidden room. So this room here is going to be hidden. Um, what I mean by that is to have a small gap in the wall that doesn't look like a gap, but you can walk through it. Okay, so let's show you guys what I mean. What we're going to do is just go to your map. Um, so this is a hidden room, so go to your map and uh, link your two rooms, the one that people are in or whatever, uh, and then make your hidden room. Obviously make the wall normally as you normally would. So just make the complete wall so there's no way into this hidden room whatsoever. And what we're going to do is, right down in the corner, we are going to... Way. we are going to just drag the wall back a little bit and then copy and paste we're just gonna put that wall back in there now what we want to do is just check if the size is okay so to do this, we're just going to choose the entity tool, shift and E is the shortcut, and we're just going to place some guy on just place someone on the map quickly. Okay, so it's plenty of space, or sort of, no, let's just make it a bit bigger. We'll just make it to there. And then what we're going to do is just make that smaller. So obviously if you want them to only be able to crouch into it, I'd say put it to about there. But I'm just going to make it just above his head. And then I'm just going to copy and paste the wall again. There we go. Now the texture I'm using isn't great because you can see the lines all vary. So obviously use a texture that you can rely on. You could try another one, but the ones that I like to use have lines. So just for this tutorial we're going to stick with this. So what we're going to do is go to this one, select the part of the wall that's that you want to be able to walk through. Press Ctrl and T, we'll go to Tools, click Tie to Entity. So in here, just type Funk underscore Illusionary, so it's here. And then I guess you could give it a name. Um, hidden underscore Room, just name it whatever you want. And I think that is it. You don't need anything else on there. I mean, I guess you can play around. So obviously you can stop this wall getting shadows off of your player. But obviously you don't want to do that because if you do that, then it's going to make it a lot more obvious that it's a, a, hidden, a hidden room. So just apply that then. Click apply and click close. That's done. Um, now your player will now be able to walk through there, or through here, with no problems.